Hey, it's Maz. Um, I'm gonna be customizing my roller skates. I wanna paint them pink. And then I'm gonna do like a go retro stripe design. Maybe I'm gonna try to cover this up too and just go put some pictures of like what I'm thinking about. But yeah, these are, I think these are real suede. They're the Candy Girl Carlin skates by Roller Derby. And you know, blue just isn't my color, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get right to that. But first, I'm gonna change into something I don't care pink is on it. Okay, so I've already put down my drop cloth, and then first, I need to take the lace. because suede on your boot is treated to make sure that it like um, doesn't get stained as much so you have to kind of like use either you can use alcohol or a little bit of bleach mixed with water and just to like roughen it up so the paint sticks on it also they're a little dirty so and then I got this brush from Michael's and it's an acrylic Three quarters inch stroke brush level one. I don't know what that means. I just wanted like a thicker brush. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then for paint, it's really important if your boots are suede like mine, um, you need to get some kind of medium to mix with your paint so it doesn't crack. Um, and I got multi-surface satin acrylic paint by Folk Art, and I got it in pink, baby pink, and white, just because I'm not sure what it looks like. I, well, I got it online through the curbside thing, and then this is the GAC 900 Golden Heat Set Fabric Painting Medium. And you do like a 50-50 mix, and I'll show you that right now. And then to cover it afterwards, I got Mod Podge Spray in a matte finish, and it's a clear acrylic sealer. Because I'm using acrylic paint, so. Okay, please. So I'm just gonna do like 10 minutes per shoe. Later that same evening. So I'm gonna just trace out like like this kind of shape. Uh, oh, perfect. Let me show you like that. Okay, so I folded each of the felt pieces in half so that I could have two equal pieces and I cut out the squiggly shape on each of them and then each time that I cut out a new color, I made it a little thinner and then I overlapped them when I was hot gluing them down. And then I cut out a rectangle to put over the back heel part, kind of like the Moxie Jack boots, just for a little spice. And then I started cutting out half circles to put around the ankle to make the same rainbow type design. I decided to overlap them with white on the bottom, yellow in the middle, and red on the top, just like the pattern on my boots. And then I glued those to the ankle with the round side on the outside and the straight side, the flat side, inside the boot.
And then for extra security, I just sewed down the felt. And then I used my Allen tool and my skate tool to pop out the bearings from the Candy Girl wheels. And I put them in my new Radar Donut wheels, which are made from the same material as the popular Radar Energy wheels. But mine are 62 millimeters and 78A hardness. Changing my wheels changed my life. I love them, except one thing is the donut sprinkle pattern kind of comes off a little bit, but the actual wheels are amazing material. I finished off my skates with the Mod Podge spray and put the wheels back on and then I was ready to go. Hey, I've been skating in my skates. <laughs> skating in my skates <laughs> um i've skated on my skates for a week now and they're holding up pretty well um the paint is really great it's not coming off at all um it's just kind of turned into like a leather feeling fabric <laughs> um but yeah looks good Oh, there's a bee next to me. Um, and yeah, I'm not having any problems with it. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>